coronaviruses are a family of community viruses that have been around for uh, a while. We now have standard uh, tests for those existing coronaviruses that normally circulate in the community. This particular coronavirus, COVID-19, is unique in the sense that it has just entered essentially the uh, human population through contact, we think, by uh, humans with animals in the wet market uh, in, in China, although a lot of the uh, data about transmission is still uh, forthcoming. So this is a uh, close relative, but different in some ways genetically from the existing coronaviruses. Now, washing hands is really important, so when you've been out in public, that's especially important time to think about washing your hands. We say washing them for about 20 seconds is the optimal thing to do. Uh, both alcohol and soap will do a fine job at killing uh, coronaviruses. You could take alcohol wipes with you or alcohol gel. And make sure you clean off the commonly used surfaces on the hand rests and things above your head in an airplane, for example. The uh, areas of the grocery cart that a lot of people touch, the, the uh, groceries here are really good about keeping hand wipes and other uh, sanitizing materials around. So think about those things when you're out. Try to stay away from sick folks. And if you feel like you have uh, respiratory symptoms, a cough, sneezing, fevers, and you have to be outside your house, it would be helpful if you would put a mask on your own self. Although masks in general for otherwise healthy people in the community are not helpful to those individuals for preventing them from getting infections. Primarily, we think uh, person to person through either close proximity to a person who has the virus. Specifically, the uh, operational definition of that is within uh, six feet. The uh, person to person spread largely through uh, coughing and sneezing, most likely. So, the ones that we pay most attention to would be fevers, uh, shortness of breath, and cough. Patients uh, can develop headaches and the symptoms uh, really are very similar to other causes of common colds and pneumonia in the community. So the symptoms themselves are essentially indistingu indistinguishable from other infections in many ways. And the good news about COVID-19 is that the vast majority of people have a fairly mild illness and do not require uh, stays at a hospital or uh, urgent cares. So they can get proper information really over the phone as to how to take care of themselves. Patients who are at greatest risk for developing more severe forms of COVID-19 infection are older folks, especially over the age of 70, and patients with existing heart uh, or lung disease or diabetes. So if you have any of those conditions and you have a fever and you have significant shortness of breath, then you should for sure contact your uh, primary care physician as a starting point. So masks are really important for healthcare providers and care providers of patients with COVID-19 because of the nature of the close contact of a prolonged uh, nature. For people in the community with no symptoms, masks have not been proven to reduce transmission of COVID-19. There is no antiviral treatment at this point for COVID-19, and the best care for patients who are more severely ill would be what we call supportive care. So that uh, relates to patients who have illness requiring special attention to their oxygen requirements, uh, fluid status, uh, electrolyte balance, those sorts of things. So if you have a fever and respiratory symptoms, like you might normally with, for example, influenza or the flu or other respiratory infections, then we would generally encourage you to stay home. So there is uh, currently no reason to go to an urgent care to have the test performed, and there is no reason to come to the hospital to have the test performed. If you are exhibiting symptoms of cough, fever greater than 100 degrees, and shortness of breath, we encourage you to call the Party COVID-19 helpline at 828-694-8048 between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. to determine if symptoms qualify for flu and or COVID-19 testing. If a patient meets screening criteria, they will be asked to drive to Blue Ridge Community College and follow the signs for screening. Patients must call before showing up at the screening site.